just like everybody in Southwest Arkansas does. Y'all want crawfish this weekend? Let's call down to Louisiana and find our crawfish. Let's go get them. And we did that. We've done that for 30 or 40 years, eating crawfish for my wife's birthday every year. Next thing I knew, uh, we were broke spending money on crawfish parties. One year out of the blue, uh, her daddy said, I'm gonna go down there and I'm gonna catch some crawfish. And I informed my wife, go to Louisiana and buy your crawfish because he's not gonna catch any crawfish. She said, okay. So she went and bought crawfish and he showed up with the, we were all just shocked. Just huge crawfish, you know, that came right here on our own place. So the next year I said, well, I'm gonna go buy a few more crawfish traps and see if we can get enough to catch those. I said, there can't be that many more down there. So he did that. We put them out there and they were full of crawfish. So it just snowballed. All right, he's, he's gonna pick the trap up with the crawfish. He's dumping them onto our tray. He has to rebait it, get it back in the water at this trap so he can grab the next one. It's that fast, it's fast paced. But you can make it fast or you can slow down. He only knows one speed, it's fast. You can't do it. There's no way we can make a living out of this. One day, maybe we'll sell all these crawfish. And who knows? But right now, it's really fun just to do it. And uh, surprisingly, uh, catching the crawfish and figuring out how to clean them and, and uh, providing them to our local people here, uh, it's, it's, it's enjoyable. Perfect crawfish for us. This is our average crawfish. They're not too large, they're not too small. We just call them the perfect eating crawfish. But they're all, only the small ones fall through and if you don't wipe them off, they'll, they will fight their way to get out of here to go back into the, to the water. Our theory has always been, well, if we let all these little ones go and everyone has told us don't do it, but if you let them all go, they'll grow and they'll reproduce, we hope, and we don't have to restock. My wife, she, she had a little bit of heart trouble and she had to have a stint and uh, everybody was sitting in the waiting room and got to visiting with this guy and then everybody was introducing themselves and, and talking about crawfish and what we were trying to do was to aerate them and clean them and, and he, he thought about it for a while and he said, I know what y'all need. He said, y'all need vacuum cleaner motors. And I was going, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, <laughs> vacuum cleaner motors. And uh, he got up and he, his wife was taken care of and he said, I got to leave. He introduced himself and his name was Robert Jacuzzi. And we all just kind of looked at each other and said, Jacuzzi, surely not, you know, can't be. And uh, so we got online and looked him up and. Apparently he is their engineer and he is part of the family. And so we immediately came home and bought a shop vac. So now we run two shop vacs and uh, the most economical thing that we can run. And it's just been a blessing. We are a little too far north. Uh, crawfish like warm water and our water is really cool. So we sit here and, and we watch people in Louisiana talk about crawfish seasons underway and growing and and busy, 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 and we're sitting here with our feet propped up going, well, we can't start. Uh, it, it's just a little too cool this far north. We started, probably the earliest we've ever started has been March the 1st, and that was actually this year. And uh, we had about a week of warm weather, and that was all we had was about a week of warm weather. And I said, let's go put out the traps. So that's when it started. Uh, our production was really low because the water was still too cold. But uh, March, you can start it in March and you can end at the end of May. So it's, it's pretty short. Uh, but Louisiana quits when we do too. But they just get started a month or two earlier than, than us. Mm -hmm.